Hey, it's Tyler. Um, so this video is for the lighting um, computer and how to turn things on, um, bring songs in, and how to do some changes on a couple of the lighting cues. So first we're gonna start off by just powering on the Mac Book Air, and that's just the power button right there. You just click it real quick. It will power on and give it a second. So it's gonna come up with this screen and you're just gonna click on this lighting login and it will come up with a little password. If you give it a second, it'll just log in by itself. There is no password. Um, so you can also just hit enter and then it will come up with the home screen just like this. You're gonna drag your mouse down to the bottom. You're gonna click on, let me try to refocus that. Um, sorry about this. Okay, so, you're going to open Byron. It's this little icon down here. And it'll come up with that. And it's gonna come up with the screen that says like what setting you wanna open, open show. So you're gonna click this top one that says open Sunday service, new building. You're gonna click that and it's a big, everything's gonna go black. Uh, your house lights are gonna go black. So this fader right over here, you're gonna make sure you bring that all the way down and then slowly bring it back up just like that. And so that's gonna control your house lights. Um, I still have all my settings in here from last week's show. So the one that you're gonna not wanna delete or exit out of is gonna be your service elements, um, whether that's live presenter or uh, video message. But I'm gonna just exit out of all the songs that we did from this last week. So that's, I'm gonna click out on this little X right up here. Unstoppable God, Reckless Love, In Christ Alone. So now we just have our live presenter. So this next week is actually, um, it is not a live presenter. It's not gonna be Andrew, it's gonna be a video. So I can actually exit out of this as well. So you're just gonna be on this main screen and just like any other Sunday to bring in songs, you're gonna go to open and you're gonna search service elements. And this one right here, it says video. So you're gonna double click that, bring that in. And just like normal Sunday, you're going to you hit this play button and you can see, let me tilt this up for you. You can see that it changed our lights on the stage. So bring it back down here. Um, so for like this next series, uh, the colors that we have down here is a lot of oranges and reds. Um, to change that, you'll have to, go through each setting to change them uh, for each cue. But, uh, so like my color, I want to be is green because for this next series, it's called Money Talks and the background of the key art is all green. So I'm gonna just click on these three. Um, those are three different lights or there's this group setting right here. This little house setting means it's a group. Um, so I have those three grouped together and I'm just gonna drag this red over to a greenish bluish color that I'm after and same thing with these bays up here so these you can either click on all three but I have them all grouped together just like that um, so those are also a red color and I'm gonna bring that over to a lightish green color same thing with these lights these are lights that cast onto uh, the background of the panels so I'm gonna keep the, I'm actually gonna keep that white white color um, yeah, maybe maybe blue yeah you can just play around with it um, and then these two lights that are going between um, I'm gonna change that to let's just go straight up white and make the intensity a little bit brighter and so now as you see um, pull this up a little bit for you to see you can see that the stage lights will correspond with what I port programmed into the uh, program. So you're gonna go through each setting, each cue, uh, and fix those light colors. Um, so you can go through that. So same thing with the welcome. You wanna change these colors to a green or whatever color you're wanting it, and then so on and so forth. So. 
One thing I'm going to always pay attention to are, um, let me zoom in here for you, these, these are the face lights. Um, so these I will always program for like the welcome, the offering, to make sure that they're always um, on an appropriate setting. These ones you shouldn't have to change much. Uh, I have them pretty much programmed as they are, but for songs, if you're making a new song, um, that is something that you will probably want to program in there. Um, but I always do that at the very last, that's always the last step of when I'm programming a new song. But if you're wanting to watch this to program a new song, just wait till the very end. Um, okay, so now I'm ready. So let's just say I got all my cues figured out for this. I wanna bring in songs. You just click on this open button here, click on this search tile or search bar. And for like this next Sunday, um, you can do, like, un let's say we're doing Unstoppable God. You'll just click on it like that. And again, go through all this, um, the cues to figure out what you want to change. Uh, if you want to, let's, let's bring in uh, one that we've done more recently. So like, oh, let's go, let's see what's a recent one I've done. Okay, your love awakens me, perfect. Bring that in. And I'm just gonna click on this play that's gonna start the um, light show. So, if you can see, I have lights that I call dancing or they move. So like those ones at the top, they're changing colors, uh, they might be strobing. One way to, so how I go about on fixing that, let me zoom in on my screen so you can get a better idea. So as you can see, these ones all up here, they're changing colors, they have, it's what you call effects. Um, to change an effect or effects, um, to stop it to, so if you wanna stop an effects, if you just wanna to go to just, you know, just a single color, just have it be basic, you'll click on this little star up here, it says stop all effects. If you wanna change it or add one, you click on this button over here, it's called F FX. Um, so you'll go in there and it's gonna take a minute. And so yeah, it has those three colors programmed into it. I got pink, orange, and blue. Um, and then, so that's that color mix. And then go over to sequence. Um, and you can mess with these settings. You can speed up the rate up here. So I have it at 41. Um, I always, when I'm programming songs, uh, make sure you are playing with the MP3 of the song. And there's really no way to know uh, the actual like beats per minute to the, the lights um, speed. There's, I haven't been able to find any equation for that. So I kind of just like bump it up as I feel um, to try to get it as close to that beat per minute with the song as possible. Um, and that will kind of give me a good idea to in order how to do that. Um, but I like to play around with a lot of different effects. If you want to add a new effect, you click on this button down here. I don't think you can see it, there it is. New effect, you click on that. I really like doing intensity, so that will like make the lights strobe, essentially. And you can just, all you do, let me show you real quick. You just click, uh, so I'll go over here to sequence. And yeah, you just create, same thing with color mix. You just do this rate. You bring it up uh, for as high or low as you wanna go, and then Oh, maybe that's not what I want. You know what? That's not what I want. So I'm just gonna exit out of that. Control Z for undo. And uh, let's do stop all effects. That's not what I want either. There we go. So now we got it back. So I just clicked undo to get it back to the appropriate setting that I wanted it back on. Um, but yeah, if you wanted to add a strobe to something, you'd go to effects, new effect, uh, no fixture selected. That's because I need to select one. Effects, new effects, intensity. Oh, one thing you're, this is what I messed up on. You don't want to select wave effect. You always want to select swing effect. Whenever you're programming anything, it's always going to be swing effect. So now we can, okay, this makes me feel much better. Uh, 
this is your percentage of the lights. So if you want it to go, right now it's going from a 20, 25% to a 63% at a rate of 20. Um, so that's something you'll just want to mess with that until you get it to the, the right, um, yeah, the right setting that you so that you really want. So that is how you do effects. Um, you can change all the colors by just selecting the light fixture and selecting the color over here. Um, pretty basic stuff. The program itself is seems to be way more intimidating than uh, what it actually is. So I'm gonna move over to, if you want to program the slider, um, let me zoom out for you. So right now I have um, this set. So this was for trees that we had in Christmas. I always have my house lights set to this. Face out and face in are for the lights that cast down on the face. These are the outer lights, these are the inner ones. And this is for the LED panels. If you want to switch them up, all you do is click on this button up here, it's called console. And it brings up just a little diagram of, um, yeah, your console. If you want to, let me zoom in over here. Okay, if you want to bring something else in, what you would want to do is create that group, that little house light uh, thing that I showed you earlier that had all the lights grouped together, and you would name it. So like the ones on top I call three bay. Um, so if you want to drag that into a slider, uh, a fader over here, you would just find it in, you would click on this little list up here, go to groups and you just find it and just drag it in. Um, and then you, that, that's all you have to do. Um, make sure you save at the end if you want it to stick with it. But for like Night of Warships, that is something that I will often do is I won't program necessarily songs. I'll just have um, myself or whoever's running lights that night just feel for the music. So I'd have like the LED panels be on a fader slider uh, the three bay pan, uh, lights on top, and then also the face lights. Um, so that way I can just move up and down the intensity um, as, I, that, as I feel it. So that is how you would do that. Um, everything else I think is pretty much the same. Nothing has changed. Um, yeah, that should do it.